The next gentleman that we're going to introduce into the Hall of Fame, he's in about every Hall of Fame you can imagine. I know that he's in the Cowboy Hall of Fame and up in Oklahoma City, and I think I helped induct him into the Rodeo Cowboy Hall of Fame in Belton, Texas. I know he's surely in the Stuntman Hall of Fame. Our next inductee, Mr. Dean Smith. <laughs> Finest Dean Smith was born in Breckenridge, Texas on January the 15th, 1932. Dean was raised by his paternal grandparents and grew up idolizing Western movie stars. His heroes were cowboys. His dreams as a young boy were one of making Westerns alongside his idols Gene Autry, Roy Rogers, Gary Cooper, Tom Mix, and John Wayne. Upon his graduation from Graham High School, Dean continued his award-winning athletic career at the University of Texas, excelling in both football and track. While at the university, Dean won eight Southwest Conference titles in every relay in the United States, including the national championships. Dean was also on the UT World Record Relay Team, as well as winning the AAU 100-meter dash championships. Dean's highest athletic honor came at the 1952 Olympics in Helsinki, Finland, when he won a gold medal as a member of the 400-meter relay team. After a two-year stint in the Army, Dean moved to California in 1957 and played wide receiver for the L.A. Rams. But it was his childhood dream that nagged at him, and he soon left football to pursue acting alongside his cowboy heroes. An Olympic roommate of Dean's introduced him to James Garner. Dean credits Garner with helping him get into the business. With his athletic prowess and agility, Dean quickly made a name for himself as a stuntman. He doubled for such Hollywood giants as Robert Redford, Ben Johnson, Robert Duvall, John Wayne, and even Maureen O'Hare in McClintock. When Duke was getting on her and she had to back out of the two-story building, fell into the hay wagon, and I slipped when I hit that, and damn near broke my ankle. Dean made more than 10 movies with John Duke Wayne. Dean's first in favor was 1959's The Alamo. Dean went on to do stunt work and act in such movies and television shows as Big Jake, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, Jeremiah Johnson, Gunsmoke, The Virginian, Maverick, True Grit, and The Quick and the Dead. Dean credits his success as a stuntman and actor to the good Lord for giving him the ability to run fast and jump high. During his Hollywood heyday, Dean met and made many lifelong friends. He achieved his dream when his list of friends included his heroes, Gene Autry, Roy Rogers, and John Wayne. And unbeknownst to two cowboys at the time, future Texas Cowboy Hall of Fame inductees also became friends, Buck Taylor and Barry Corbin. In 1992, Dean retired from acting and returned to his beloved Texas to live on the land where he grew up. Dean became a popular choice for children and school speaking engagements. His message to kids was to believe in oneself and live a clean life. Dean's credo has always been, if you can dream those dreams, you can make them come true. In 1996, Dean met the love of his life, Debbie. They were married in 1996 in the small church on the set of the Alamo in Brackettville, Texas. On December the 7th, 1998, they welcomed a son, Finest Dean Smith II. Together, Dean and Debbie have eight children. Throughout Dean's life, he's watched many of his dear friends and co-stars battle cancer. He made a promise to himself that he would use his celebrity to help any way he could. In 2002, he held the first Dean Smith Celebrity Rodeo in Graham, Texas. This benefited the American Cancer Society, and many stars showed up to support Dean's cause. Realizing his event was a way to bring notice to a worthy cause by using his Western connections. And in 2004, Dean held the second Celebrity Rodeo, this time benefiting the John Wayne Cancer Institute. Dean has also been a fixture at numerous other charity events, such as the Bobby Norris Roundup for Autism and Ben Johnson's Children's Charities. Dean's numerous honors include induction into the University of Texas Hall of Fame, the prestigious Golden Boot Award from the Motion Picture and Television Fund for his contributions to the Western genre, the Duke Award from the John Wayne Cancer Institute, and the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum's Lifetime Achievement Award. Dean Smith is truly a cowboy hero. Dean Smith, 2010 Texas Cowboy Hall of Fame inductee. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dean Smith. I'm going to give you all the whole load. <laughs> if I can see what I'm doing, my wife typed this speech for me, so uh, 
in large letters so I wouldn't have to wear my glasses. <laughs> Thank you, Billy Huckabee, Mayor Moncrief. You've done a good job here in Fort Worth. I would First, I'd like to congratulate all the honorees here tonight. I have so many good friends. Nolan, all of you. I respect all of you, Dr. Duke. What a great group to be included in. I want to thank Jamie and Julie for all their help and hard work, not to mention their tireless staff. I want to thank my dear friend, Red Stegall, Barry Corbin, Lynn Anderson, and Julia Bushwall for nominating me. I have, I also want to thank the Board of Directors for voting me in. Thanks to Holt Hickman and Billy and Pam Minnick for making it possible for me and others to be included into such a great Hall of Fame. Thanks to all the people of Graham, my hometown, for being here tonight. I think we got you bested in numbers. <laughs> Thanks to Kelly and Michael Carmichael of Mirror Studios from Graham for helping prepare my booth. They did a great job. Aren't I pretty over there? I have great memories of when I was a young boy coming to Northside and seeing my first indoor rodeo. At that time, it was the only indoor rodeo. I would come with my grandparents, and we would always bring our cattle here to sell. Then we would go to Montgomery Wards, and she would buy my school clothes. When I got a little older, we started going to the Will Rogers Coliseum across town. I could see Roy and Jean over there. If I can turn this page, I'll be all right. <laughs> kind of stuck together here. Coming to the Fort Worth Fat Stock Show and Rodeo, I could see my cowboy heroes and my rodeo cowboys and Western movie cowboys perform. Thanks to Ed and Vicki Bass and Mr. Bob Watt for keeping that great tradition alive. I love the Fort Worth Stock Show. I would say Fat Stock Show, but it's not, you're not supposed to say the Fat Stock Show anymore. It, it made a great impression upon me. When I was 17 years old, I won my first track meet at Farringdon Field, and that was my chance of getting out to see the world, and boy did I see it. Fort Worth has always been a special place to me. It just doesn't get any better than being inducted into the Texas Cowboy Hall of Fame here in Fort Worth. I feel right at home here where many of my heroes who have come before me are inducted, along with several of my cowboy friends of today. I want to thank God for the many blessings he has given me all of my life. I want to thank my beautiful wife, Debbie, and my two sons, Charles and Finus, and my daughter, Mary, and Lee, for all their support. Thanks to all my friends who are here tonight who have kept me along the way. My boyhood and lifetime friend, Larry Mahan, and he is not the world champion, but the world champ is my friend also. You're lucky if you've had two Larry Mahans in your life. I really tell you that. My University of Texas roommates, Chester Bradley, C.A. Rundale, and Robert Carson from Arlington Heights. Thank you all for coming. And my cowboy friends, Bobby Norris, August Long, Brantley Foster, Randy Moore, Sheriff, o Sheriff Bob Alford, he's such a good friend. And I want to thank Chuck Schroeder and Linda Holler for coming, and also Shayla Simpson from the Cowboy Hall of Fame, which I am a member and very proud of that. They're from Oklahoma. I'm part Oki a little bit myself. <laughs> Can't hold that against me, can you? I still have cancer and continue to get my treatments every month right here in Fort Worth. I want to thank Pete, my doctor, Pete Brown, for calling his dad, Bobby Brown, and getting me down here to Baylor Hospital. I, I just am so lucky to have had good doctors the last five years since I have been sick. I couldn't have had the success I've had in my life without the many friends that I've had the pleasure of meeting in my lifetime. Each of you have added a special touch to my life, and you came along just at the right time. I am overwhelmed with all of you that have 
come here tonight to support me, and I am truly honored by seeing you here. I would love to mention everyone here, but it would take all night. And I know most all of you, and I'm sure proud of that. I want to thank my dear grandmother, Ollie Smith, for giving me a steel backbone and a wire tail. She always told me, people will always judge you by the company that you keep. I have always kept good company, all of you, and I know most all of you. Thank you all, and God bless you. God bless our men and women in uniform. Please keep this, them in your prayers, and God bless America. And always remember, protect your family, protect your animals, and be damn sure you protect your land because somebody will try to take it away from you. <laughs> Amen.